Anthony, what, uh, how's it going, first of all, the transition, and what's, uh, what's your comfort level? Yeah, um, I feel, you know, really comfortable. I had the whole spring, the whole summer yeah. uh, to get comfortable um, with my teammates. So, I, so I, I feel like I'm in a good position. What's the biggest adjustment? Uh, I just say the communication aspect. Um, now I'm the one that has to communicate and you know get guys on the right page and same page and stuff like that. What are some things from either playing corner or playing star that you can apply that definitely carries over to safety? Uh, I'll probably say uh, some um, manning up, like man techniques, um, zone techniques uh, at star. So, so something similar, especially being the same uh, defense year two. How's uh, Jaron doing? What's your comfort level playing alongside him? Yeah, um, he's doing good. You know, um, Bug, he brings a lot of uh, great energy, um, really physical. You know, I love playing against, uh, I mean, next to uh, uh, Jaron. And then you talked a little bit about you guys playing tighter coverage, you know, out there. How, how's that transition, you know, been for you guys? What's been maybe some of the challenges of going a little bit tighter? Yeah. Um, I think we've been doing a, a good job of adjusting to it. Like I said, we had the whole spring, the whole summer. And I guess some of the challenges would be uh, whenever you play uh, tighter, there's a possibility of getting beat deep. Mm -hmm. So we just trust in our uh, technique and coaches, and we feel good about it. How much does the communication have to play a, a part in that? We talk about getting beat deep, you know. How much do you got to, you know, how much pre-snap communicating are you, are you doing? And then, of course, after the snap. Yeah, a lot, a lot. I think that's the biggest thing. Like, if you don't communicate pre-snap or uh, post-snap, then, you know, you can have a lot of bust, and, and, and we'll never want that. I think you're working with the, is it the Players Lounge, Bird Arm Heroes for the NIL stuff. You know, I'm curious, you know, I guess what that entails. You know, I know it seems like, you know, I think you're talking to fans, making videos. Just, you know, curious how that relationship came about and, you know, what you're doing, you know, with that deal. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that with a couple of my teammates. And like you said, it's just another way for the fans to uh, connect with us. Uh, we do it on, like, Twitter space. And then we'll do it on Instagram. And then we also do, like, meet, meet and greets and stuff like that. So it's just another way for us to connect with the fans. Have you, have you done events around here? Do you have anything planned before the season? Uh, we did one at half five uh, not too long ago. Uh, and as far as like upcoming, I'm not, I'm not too sure. Great. Will a lot of people turn out? Yeah, it, it was a pretty good turnout. Anthony, as far as the guys that defense, do you all talk about the struggles last year? Is that used as motivation, or have you all tried to wipe that slate clean and next game mentality? Yeah, um, I mean, me and some of the uh, guys, uh, we definitely use that as motivation and fuel, just like knowing what we went wrong then last year, so we're going to make some of the same mistakes. You feel like there were guys in the secondary last year who were too much, uh-oh, here we go again. Like, when things started going bad, they were like, man, it's going bad. They weren't, like, actively turning it or... Yeah, I wouldn't really say that. I mean, I just feel like, um, you know, a lot of the times in a lot of those games, uh, we're in good positions. Uh, you know, we just got to learn how to finish and uh, have a better attitude overall. What about uh, some of the younger guys, you know, like Coffee and you know, some of the guys who need to be in the 2D with you? Yeah, uh, they're doing good. Guys like um, J.D. Coffee, uh, Mo Blackwell, even um, DJ Allen and Lay uh, Turner, you know, they're all doing good. Everybody's coming along. We coached up real well, so we all feel good. For Mo, what's been something that you've seen him make a lot of progress with going from linebacker to moving back to safety? I just say, um, like, covering ability. Uh, you know, he don't do a lot of that at linebacker, and I see him, you know, grow a, a, strength, a, a lot in that, in that aspect of it. Um, he's always been a great tackler. That's something that he just, you know, he's really good at. But I say the biggest thing is just covering, covering guys now. And then obviously you're a competitor, but who are some of the receivers that give you guys fits? You know, when it's time, when you got, when it's time to cover those guys. Yeah, um, off top for me, I'll say probably um, Jordan Whittington, uh, number one. And then, um, with no order, uh, X, obviously. Um, and uh, Isaiah Nair has, has really, you know, been giving us good looks. How fast is Brandon Thompson when he's out there on the field? Yeah, he's really fast. You know, um, we heard about him before, before he even came in. And, and what we heard matches up with. How many, how many picks you got so far in fall camp? Um, zero, man, zero. I need to get get my hands on some. How many picks the defense got? Uh, that's hard to say. I probably say as a whole, it was like eight picks, eight nine. Something Anyone like that. grabbing more than another? Um, Deshaun Jameson, you know, he's been grabbing a, a lot of picks, but he's been doing that since the spring. 
So I'm um, you know, excited to see what he does this season. So for you and, and Deshaun and Marvin, y'all are still around for that 2018 class. Do y'all have any conversations about you know making sure this year ends the way y'all want it to? Just y'all three as you know players from that class, from that group? Not exactly. We're kind of like some of the leaders on the team now. So now we're just trying to get the younger guys uh, right uh, and kind of be that, that uh, you know, that big brother figure like some of the older guys were to us when we was coming in. And the opposite. First, last ones for Anthony. first day in pads uh, for you guys. Just tell us, like, what was that like out there on, on the field? What was the atmosphere like? What you noticed? Yeah, the energy uh, was up. Um, both sides were really physical. Um, no. Nobody was on the ground. We weren't tackling anything like that. But I say the energy was up, and it was still uh, really physical, although we weren't tackling. How have the last one? What have you seen from yours? Like, how how has he gotten better? How's he different from the spring? Like, can you see his comfort level yet or not? Yeah, um, he's been doing a great job, and, and not only him, but him and like both of the quarterbacks been doing really good. I've been seeing them communicate a lot more. I see a lot more confidence coming from both of those guys. So that's going to be an interesting battle. Jordan, from what you've seen from him this offseason, what do you expect to see from X this season? Just where can he go from what he accomplished last year? I would say for him, this, man, the sky's the limit. Um, you know, you just see a full bottle of potential, and I think he's only right here. So he has just so much more he can do. Um, you see a lot of glimpses of it in practice, and he's working really hard. So when he gets to the season, I'm pretty sure it'll be, it'll be magical. These are your teammates and even some of your coaches talk about how hard you work, not just mm -hmm. on the field but off the field. What's it like to know that you have the faith of not only your teammates but the coaches to, to do the right thing on a daily basis? Uh, I would say that's just something that comes with uh, maturity and self-discipline. Um, I always make a conscious effort to take it serious you know when I was younger I didn't and I saw the consequences of that so now just being older going through it three times in a row it changes your mindset so uh I'm I'm happy they have faith in me uh but it was something I had to do like you know I had to switch up what I was doing I had to change something how'd you uh, how'd you score first name pads oh uh, it was great uh it was physical uh it was intense a lot of competition it always is the first day uh but it was good I like I like I like being physical, so it's yeah, cool. Real quick, I you, I know I know y'all aren't taking everybody to the ground or things yeah, like that. Yeah. But is it uh, are guys wanting to you know put some licks on somebody out there? Just you know, just because. Uh, I would say you have your situations where it gets like you know physical. That's just what football is. But uh, we're all we're safe. You know, our number one rule is protect the team, so we do that. Um, but yeah, it's you know, it's dogs out there, so we all going at it. You, you said in the spring you were doing like three hours yeah. extra, like mm -hmm. hot tub, cold tub. Yeah, I changed one. I've been messing up on one thing though. Remember I said ice cream? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I haven't eaten ice cream in three weeks. <laughs> so that, so I haven't been, you know, strict on it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get back to it, but it's all right. What are you still doing that? Like yeah, everything else. Yeah, I've just been messing up with the ice cream thing, but everything else has been same or better. You know, more hours of treatment. We're in fall camp, so we're here. Uh, I get more time here, so every time I get extra time, I'm doing something to better so you, myself. You come in like you don't have class, obviously, but I you don't have in, class. You come in right before a yeah. workout, or yeah, so. We have an early bus for like the people that want to do extra treatment and stuff. So I'm on that bus all the time. There's more time there, and then uh, you get time in between meetings. Every time we get time, I take full advantage of it. Are all the things like the, I don't know if you all have like the cryo stuff, but like, mm -hmm. there's all the cold tub and all the treatment stuff. Is yeah. that here now? Because I remember you. It is. To yeah. Have to leave, it's all here. Right? Mm -hmm. Does that help? It Maybe it does. Yeah. Tremendously. Yeah. Uh, that stuff is more like inflammation stuff. So, you know, when you get done with practice, you want to go get stuff like that. And then uh, your diet. I didn't really know how much it impacted you until I got older. But fruit was my main thing. Helps me. I don't know if anybody body be hurting, but eat some fruit. I'm telling you, you know, I think it's antioxidants is the word. What, what, what we're talking about here? Strawberries? Stra so I eat, what? okay, so I'm going to say, so I eat like two big bowls of fruit like every day. I just fill it with strawberries in the morning and then at lunch. So yeah. what, what ice cream may trip you up? Mm, my favorite, okay, so I switched up. I, it was chocolate chip cookie though, Bluebell, and Bluebell is actually based in Texas. Right. But 
I saw this stuff. I was in New York and I tried gelato and I came back down here and there's a brand called like Talenti or something like that. And they got caramel cookie crunch. That's my favorite now. But I ain't been able to get it because it's only at Walgreens CVS. And I, <laughs> I live far like from there. So it's just, it's worth the drive at the end of the day, but sometimes I be tired. You get yourself a NIL deal. That's I know, I've been, I, every time I do an interview, I bring, I did it, I just, I bring them up every time, they ain't hit me up yet, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, bro, because that right there, uh. Where are they based, Italy? I don't know, I need to look them up more, you're supposed to know the people that you're trying to work with, so I need to get better. So do you think a football team could be successful powered by ice cream? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, not too much, but I'm telling you, it just helps, I don't know what it is. I don't know, testosterone or something. It just makes me feel great. It's, some, it's an amazing, I love ice cream. I don't look like it, but yeah. I'm telling you, uh, that's what about, my. Mm. What about the new additions to the receiver room? Mm -hmm. um, like Tariq Milton, yeah, 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 yeah. what are you seeing from those dudes? Uh, I would say a lot of the new guys we got are like older experienced guys. So they came in and there wasn't, um, a lot of catching up to do. You know, they, they know football, their experience in college football. And, you know, when they got here, they kind of hit the ground running. Um, there was, you know, you got to learn the plays, which, you know, they did now because every time you come to a new team, it's a new system. But once they did that, they're, they hit, like I said, they hit it running. Um, and they're very explosive, all of them, every new guy we got. What stands out about Tariq? Um, like I said, being through it, uh, football IQ is a big thing for him, and he's shifty. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a leader on the team, how, how much do you find yourself helping not only your receiver group, yeah. but you know, even the quarterbacks you know, during practice? Uh, I, I think I do it way more than spring ball now because just because it's, it's really like serious to me now. So um, just anytime I can, most of the time it's like constructive criticism or trying to coach them up in a way. And also part of leading is when they do good, you want to acknowledge that they did, you know? So that's kind of how I lead right now. Not to put any blame on previous coaches, but mm -hmm. was there a different strategy that Coach Beckton took with you, maybe compared to what you did uh, yeah. prior years? Yeah, so uh, I would say the difference would be more like mobility, uh, not as much like strength and stuff like that. Because with me, you know, I had a lot of operations. So just staying open, staying loose, staying mobile is something that we worked on and we do it with the whole team. So everyone's more like fluent, you know, with their movements. And yeah, that's really important. I know who grew up in your household with you. So it was a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of being a strength, trying to focus <laughs> on mobility. Yeah. yeah, when I was growing up, I was lifting. I was like, I don't even know, 10 years old, I was like bench pressing. But um, uh, it helped in a way. Uh, but, you know, most of football is movement and, you know, being explosive. And I think that's more of what we do here, more explosiveness than, uh, what's the word, just like power, lift, and strength. <clears throat> so you, you spent the last few years with, with Bucks and catch and pass with him working with mm -hmm. him. With Quinn, you know, he's been here about eight months. You know, how long did it take, I guess, to establish a comfort level with the quarterback? And, you mm -hmm. know, does that also extend to maybe establishing a relationship off the field too? Uh, yeah, I don't think it, it takes a while, but once you get reps and reps, like you get all the spring, you get all the fall camp, uh, after a while, it just takes trust, you know? You got two skilled quarterbacks, you trust them, and then that's where the chemistry comes. And then off the field, yeah, you want to build more chemistry off the field just so you're comfortable with the person. Like the receiver room, we're all really tight off the field, so, you know, when we're here, it's just like we're best friends and we, I'm a work hard for him, he's going to do it for me. What have, you know, what have Quinn and Hudson and even Malik, you know, what have those guys done to kind of help build trust and relationships with y'all? Mm -hmm. um, they've just been there. Uh, you know, when you need them, they're always there. They're real humble guys. They're always supportive, uh, always motivating. And when you do wrong, you know, they hold you accountable. It might be, this is crazy. It might, I know, right? <laughs> um, it, it might be too early in August to ask this, but mm -hmm. um, do you have a vibe yet that, that this is going to work? Yeah, definitely. I definitely got the vibe it's going to work. Um, well, I would say team-wise, just because you always want to come into the season positive, and then it just feels like it's more player-led. Like, everything is more player-led. Um, everything is more intense from the players. You know, everything's more intensified. Then individually, it's like I'm just motivated because this is my last year, so, like, it's like, this is the one I want it to be. And I feel like you can always 
somewhat control your destiny. You know, you control the controllables, and then whatever is meant to be will be. I mean, I know you don't. Time for a couple of I, know, I know guys don't sit around talking about last year, but just yeah. Are there things that you have taken that you have mm -hmm. thought to yourself? I don't, I want to make sure we aren't doing that again. Yeah. Uh, like I said, the player led thing. I think uh, there were times where we weren't. And now when you see situations where you can, you know, be accountable and lead the team as a player, I think we do it. And anytime we get to a situation where things are uh, falling apart or a workout isn't going our way, everyone steps in and changes it. I think that could be from uh, past situations, just learning from it. Who's a player who's going to surprise this year? Ooh. Uh, Maybe can I give you more than one? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. OK. Let's see. I like Savion Red. Um, oh, Kelvin Banks. I like Kelvin Banks. He's a really good player. Uh, he's a leader. Really vocal, really high football IQ. And, man, just, I don't know, all the young guys, they, they came in with the right mindset. So I'm excited to see them play. What do you like about Red? Super, he's like a Debo Samuel. He's just super explosive. And I, like, found a guy that's kind of like uh, me in a way, you know, like a Gets the ball, runs it like a running back, bigger dude. So it's just it's like having a, a twin out there. So. Can you give us an example of Kelvin? Oh, say it again. You said Kelvin's the leader. He's out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> just like if something like you know receivers and linemen ain't really. So if I had an example, I actually a, a play didn't go my way, and he actually ran to me. And told me like it's alright, let's move on to the next one. And so that coming from a freshman and also someone that's in a whole different position is that's a really big thing. You know, it, it hit me and it was like, oh, okay, this dude's for real.